exploring the fundamental principles and societal frameworks intertwined with this scenario becomes imperative. Hi, Mike. Well, we've just learned that an Orthodox rabbi from Columbia's Hillel has recommended Jewish students return home as soon as possible. The rabbi told us he sent a message to students this morning to say that after last night's protest, it was clear, at least to him, that campus public safety and the NYPD could no longer ensure that the safety of Jewish students. Mike, we've been watching crowds of pro-Palestinian demonstrators come here uh, on a daily basis. You can see the one behind me. And at last night's protest here just off campus, we saw the numbers swell to about 300 people or people set off flares with these chants. Listen. During last night's protest, the NYPD says three people were detained and issued court summonses. These scenes continue as more than 100 Jewish students petition the Columbia administration for virtual classes. A Jewish student telling us she's living in fear. I don't know. I think it's very sad that on campus right now, and it's terrifying that I'm given the choice of either hiding my identity or being subject to harassment and assault. And I just like I, I don't want to give into that. I won't give into that. But it is definitely something that I think of all the time. Like, will someone look at me and and, you know, hurt me because of that? We have no word yet on how the Columbia administration will weigh the concerns of Jewish students, but we have reached out to ask for more details. Mike, as you can see behind me, the protest here just off campus continues. Police have moved us a bit of a ways away, which to me indicates they're expecting this crowd to continue to grow. Back to you. Emphasizing the significance of maintaining law and order, particularly in safeguarding public well-being and societal stability, stands paramount. The repercussions stemming from perceived threats, prejudices, and societal frictions on individuals and communities demand acknowledgement. The rabbi's counsel for Jewish students to reorient themselves can be seen as a reaction to perceived threats and the breakdown of authorities' as safety assurances. Various mechanisms, resilience building factors, and potential long term implications on mental well being due to living in fear or confronting discrimination are noteworthy. Apprehensions regarding the safety of Jewish students and the anxieties articulated by interviewed individuals underscore the importance of upholding individual rights and liberties, especially in challenging circumstances. Furthermore, the roles of societal establishments like university administrations and law enforcement bodies in addressing issues and aiding affected parties merit contemplation.